minutes. Wow, that is a long song. Yeah, so that that's a long song, and I'm pretty sure that's copyrighted, so I'm just going to cut there. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably just that won't make it into YouTube. I'm sorry, people on YouTube. For people wondering, the uh, the song that we just skipped out on is by Poets of the Fall. I'm not sure which one. Uh, it's apparently a good band because I'm going to listen to them later tonight. <laughs> it sounded fun. Song questionnaire. Auditory experience 84.c. Poets of the Fall, My Dark Disquiet. Answer questions within two minutes of listening. Did the song elicit any particular memories? If so, elaborate. Did you at any point feel a strong emotion? If so, what emotion? Did a clear image of a weapon appear in your mind during the song? If so, elaborate. Provide a detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Have you ever heard the murmur of voices when no one is present? If so, what did they say? Do you hear them now? Please choose from one of each of the following pairs. One or two. A or B. Day or night. Apple or orange. Burn out or fade away. Neat. Ooh. I like that. I appreciate the tie-in there. I think it works fine for that oh, game. Oh, was there something back there? Or no, that was that just the button? Look at all this sound foam. I know that... Many streamers have this lining the inside of their yeah, little some, cubicle walls. Someday, I actually wouldn't mind having a room kind of decorated in much the same manner, because it is a nice look. Ooh, what's this? The lyrics. Oh, those are the lyrics of the song. Cute. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's anything I can do with this, but that's kind of a neat little thing. All right. Let's see what room number two yields. I do wish the map for this game was actually like... Oh. You can't go into the other ones? Or no, they're they're blank, aren't they? Yeah, they're sealed off. Hmm. Um, but I do wish the map on this was oh, like a what full is the 3D. Quote? Hmm? The quote on the wall to the right. For who among us has touched the foundations of this world and deemed them solid? Dr. Theodore Ash. Oh yeah. <laughs> They'd referred to his research or studies before. We have yet to see Marshall, though. Let's see. So what band was that? Uh, I don't know which song it was, but that was Poets of the Fall. If you yourself would like to listen to I it. I thought it was like the Dark Disquiet or something. Or just the Disquiet was the name of the ah, song. Here we go. This is why I was distracted. Oh. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden, hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. One thing I really appreciate about this game compared to Prey, there's really? actually there's characters that are living that you interact with. Yeah. Who knows how many of them will make it to the end. Oh, man. Well, you did learn that new ability to recruit some to your side and also to shield yourself. Gimme. Getting hit a little bit. Yeah. I'd be interested in seeing what happens to them when the threat has been annihilated. They're taking periodic damage, actually. Okay, so they fade, eventually. Also, I can shoot them. Mm-hmm. Oh. I have a bunch of Where abilities. Where are we going to meet Marshall? What did she say? Hmm? Where were you going to meet Marshall? Oh, she sent the elevator. Ah, uh, the elevator. Okay, I got another personal mod slot. I think I'd like to put it into launch damage. Ah, so you can fling more objects? Yeah, well, if you notice, it also, like, uh, branches out a bit. Mm-hmm. Launch grenades and rockets back at the enemy. Ooh. Oh, I'll grab it. Basic oh, and then you can throw people. Low. That's fun. Uh, I'll get a bit into shield strength. I'm just kind of grabbing whatever. I don't really use... 
Melee at all? Okay, so weapon forms. So, Pierce. Hmm. Precise charged shot that penetrates armor and enemies at any range. Cool. So that would be the sniper version. Unfortunately, I need more source to afford it. Mm -hmm. Um, I could get this. I don't know if this is worth it, though. Because I'm not really farming mods. And yes, you can wall -lo like in Sh Shadow of Mortar. That game was... Honestly, I I would actually like to play that game properly someday. Because it was fun. Well, I guess Shadow of War, not Shadow of Mortar, but still. Close enough. Uh, let's see. So I could increase my health by a bunch. But honestly, I think I might want to actually pick up another one of these. Can I have two of them? Yeah! Uh, let's see. So I get 50% extra health uh, on items. See, so we also have damage against enemy armor, damage while low on health. What is this? Reduced recoil. Eh, it's not really anything I'm interested in. The extra projectiles are nice. And then we also have random loot. Okay. Well, let's go see an NPC to talk to. But yeah, one of the things I liked about Prey was there were a lot of characters to talk to and a ton of audio logs and lore information just like this. But in this one, you actually have people you talk to face to face. Look at that picture. It shows file room. Yeah, we were in this room earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh This the you fight the grenade guy up there, I believe. Ah. Uh, Boom. No more perpetual motion machine. <laughs> Trench said his team knows all the bureau secrets, Marshall especially. Does she know what happened to Dylan? Marshall is waiting for you in the luck lab, just down the hall. Ooh. The people like... What are they saying? I don't know. Or is it just the whispering? It's the kind of standard whispering, but... It's more insistent around here. Oh, luck. Oh. Oh, the luck cat. Makes sense. So everyone is just distraught and... Yeah, so they have various lucky objects around. Oh, a shamrock? You took it? Yoink. There you are. I was starting to worry. That's amusing. We have a lot of weapons. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Sakurai is dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're going to survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone, not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Did you do the piercing? Nah, I can't afford it. Alright. Not good, you're gonna die. 
The ritual division. That stinking orb. Gives At least them all you have more ability. than one sliver of health now. <laughs> Better odds. Yeah, I was wondering why I wasn't able to kill those guys. Easily. Weren't there some friendlies over there? Yeah. Rangers, other side of the room. Okay, I'm back up to full health. That's great. Okay. Got them both. Anybody left, or did they all die? Uh, doesn't look good. Oh no, there's one person. Okay. Oh, Chief Lewis. Her kinesiology. Wasn't this the guy that had written the letter saying he wanted his department to get more funding? Lady. Watch Lady, out. Hold up. I'm trying very hard to save Just to this save lady. The, the one lady that's left. She had a death wish too. Like, look at her remaining health. Mm -hmm. Okay, now are you gonna be able to? I think we're good. Yeah. It? Okay. But like, she was she was charging that mid boss. I just deserve a reward for keeping her alive there. <laughs> I always find pathway. rooms like this to be really cool and also very creepy. There's something about the um, over-industrial concrete that bothers me. Mm -hmm. But I love the forms and the, the layout. And the, well, also the greenery, too, that's interspersed. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of the interior of a fancy mall or hotel. Elevator there. I don't know where that goes. Do we do it? The ritual office. Let's go. Let's go find out. Oh, actually, we might have already been here. Eh, maybe not. Carla, file received. Thank you for the file. It was very helpful. I've re-archived it with the Black Rock research in case you need it to refer to it again. Yes, the video shoots are always interesting. I expect my availability for those to decrease in the future, however, as my analysis of this newly discovered Black Rock variant is reaching a critical point. I hope you will be able to attend them still. Darling seems to be under a lot of pressure lately, and I'm sure that he would appreciate any support you can provide. Regarding the analysis you provided, I do not have any questions. Thank you for the expeditious delivery. Regards, Research Specialist Dr. Carla Vaughn. So she was not at all acknowledging the dude's advances. Vandalism. <laughs> see, I don't see any files in here. Research records. Tangible effective rituals. Obsessive compulsive disorder, hoarding, anxiety disorders. While certain manifestations of these conditions are simply the result of mental illness, sometimes the individuals are simply performing blankety blank called rituals. The blankety blank of rituals can vary. Numerology, dream logic, 
forfeiture, verbal formulae, repetitive action, and causal tethering are some of the procedures involved. Some rituals are consistent, such as pulling a light switch cord three times to enter the motel. Ah, yeah, that was one of them. But some are erratic. While most people will engage in minor rituals every day, the vast majority do not understand the importance behind their actions. Avoiding disaster, amassing luck, or simply locating lost keys are all the results of daily rituals. Individuals who recognize a deeper meaning behind these compulsive actions are inherently aware of their of a paranatural world and, when located, should be considered for employment at the Bureau. Refer to file blank for full report. So, they actually seek out people that perform rituals? Probably. I would imagine people with, like, OCD or whatever would be... They would be very aware of discrepancies and patterns and such. Yeah. Or if something is off. So it looks like nothing more than just some lore in here. But that's okay. You like lore. And lore. it's a good break for me. Hey. Again, to go back to the dead space and the uh, prey comparisons. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Bioshock, I guess. That's the other That's the other game I should probably mention. I talk about this kind of stuff. Uh, oh, a shelter. Yep. Is that there's a lot of background lore that sets the stage and is relevant without being uninteresting. Though, I could see people getting kind of slack-jawed with a number of this, these, but, like, they're kind of cool. The Threshold Kids. Problem. With the recent arrival of the Blankety Blank, there are certain glaring gaps in the Bureau's ability to educate and raise a young Blank. There are no other Blankety Blanks for Blanks to play with, and Blank is expected to learn about a frightening new uh, learn about frightening new concepts. Solution: Blankety Blank will require a slow, Blank-friendly introduction to paranatural topics. With this in mind, allow me to introduce the Threshold Kids. Oh, do you know what they did? Hmm. This is probably in reference to Dylan when they took him as a boy. Mm. Yeah, he will require slow, kid-friendly introduction to paranormal topics. With this in mind, allow me to introduce the Threshold Kids. So he made that horrific puppet television show. A television show in, in which the cast of cheerful puppets explains the dangers of living at the Bureau, but also how to show the fun side of the paranormal. The budget would be minimal. I took a few puppet-making courses at my local community center. We can have research staff build the sets, record the footage, and even do the voices. It will be good for morale, and guarantee Blankety Blank will respond positively to these videos. We can't expect a blank to enjoy lectures and people in lab coats, so a child may be something like that. But, as television has proven for years, kids love puppets. That's what I'm assuming. So they definitely took someone into the fold. They probably referred to them as the slide uh, child or something. Mm. Bonded to the slide. Yeah. I love that. When you walk into a room and it's like boom. Boom. Like that is such a... Somebody else has done that style well, before. You do that in anime an awful lot or in games when you see a boss or something wait a minute isn't that the room with the bottles in it and everything yeah that is okay let's look at the other rooms so something freaked out in here mm -hmm. blasted everything away this thing uh oh, flammable gas. That's going to explode. Remember, you exploded one of those before. Yeah, I'm not shooting it. I'm just trying to figure... Oh, it's Seism a polygraph. Mm -hmm. I was about to say seismograph, but polygraph makes sense. Either a polygraph or a... You're not going to investigate Whoa, all those? Whoa, that's a Level six. six. Wait, that was the altered what? There's an altered item, item inside. In oh. So course. they have something hella locked down in there. A high-level item. Another oh. one of those weird TV rooms. Experimentation with global synchron... Yeah, synchronicity. Summary. 
As a test, television sets were placed in a variety of locations around the world inside rooms identically decorated. The hypothesis was that by, identi by identically altering the decor of every room and then changing the channel in every room but one, that the single differing television would spontaneously align the incoming frequency to match its synchronized counterparts. The experiment seemed like a failure until it was observed that the agents responsible for arranging and monitoring these rooms were all experiencing the same emotional turmoil as the one clinically depressed member of the team, uh, himself being located in the eastern part of the blank. Psychological examination of the agents proved the correlation. Dis interestingly, the phenomenon of synchronicity did occur, but not in the way that we predicted. So it affected the staff, not the people that were forced to watch or not the TVs themselves. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh. So a number of them are moving. So the middle two are synced up. But none of the rest. Well, look at the ones Oh. Yeah, the see. ones in the middle are both synced up to each other. But all the uh the no, other no, ones are not. Well, the first and the third are stagnant. Yeah, the first and the third over here are stagnant. The two middle ones are synced up, and then the first and third on this side are synced up. Neat. We'll come back here later when we are sufficiently uh Classified, I guess. Oh, executive personnel protection. Where is that situated? Go to the mail room. The mail room. You have to use the teleporter. Yep, teleporter's over here. Okay, so those randomly proc. Yeah, so they'll they'll show up, and we'll get a we'll get a thing. So we want to go to the mail room. Mhm. Mm Hopefully it's not like a proper full escort thing because oh god. That'd I don't be think amazing. we're gonna be able to do it. What's the time at the moment? Uh it's eleven. Mm -hmm. We can let's uh I don't know. Wanna finish this section off? Not this side quest, but the uh Well it seems like we only just entered the psychology lab. Oh no. Oh. Okay. So you have a couple of people there with you. When is the ambush going to begin? You open a note. When I joined, thought Shell was an audio, audio file. She's very convincing as a voice actress. You'd be good at books on tape and were actually voice acting. Mm hmm. I know that people do enjoy making audiobooks. But if you're starting out, you'd have to use something ancient, copyright free. Or you'd have to have authors, I think. People can put up... I will admit I've had a couple of authors actually approach me, but it's usually people that are, like, halfway done with their in-progress book that clearly hasn't gone through any, like, substantive editing or anything like oh, that. Oh, I see. And I feel a bit bad because it's, like, I don't necessarily, like... I'm not against the idea of reading somebody's book out loud, but... Well, think of all the time you'd have to go through reading every single page... Ensuring that you read every line perfectly. And there's so many ways that you can uh, change your intonation and inflection. It completely changes the sound and context of a sentence. So I, I think I'm supposed to get attacked here, but they're not spawning. Because effectively we're supposed to... Oh, something's happening. Well, that oh, whole room over is there. exploding. Perpetually. Well, if this is just a waiting Free game... Free reward, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. We'll see what the reward actually is.
There's a lot of blood. Mm-hmm. I do really like the idea of slowly, like, kind of reclaiming this facility. Cleaning it up? Yeah, kind of. Like, I'd like to play one of these games very, very similarly to this, but, like, you're actually, um... You're actually, like, getting everything up and running again. As mm. opposed to just doing, like, little side tasks for people. Like, say, doing this mission, for example, would actually, like... Return this to somewhat functional use, and they might actually help with something else, or... You know, wouldn't work for this kind of game, considering a lot of it is more bureaucratic than anything else, but still. Mm -hmm. I could see it for something like a fortress or a castle, so you got... Well, that was convenient. A bunch of remnants and everything, yep. Maybe it bugged. Probably did. Let's see, I think it was upstairs. Or no, no, it's over here. Okay, so we were down. We were down in the ritual division. There mm -hmm. we go. Uh, let's see. What were we talking about, though? About audiobooks. Oh yeah, audiobooks and whatnot. Yeah, it's it's. I, I hate to say no to people. It's kind of the same thing with a lot of developers, for example. Um. Is like I can't do I can't do a series on everything. I can't play everything. Uh, let's see, what was the reward? Some crafting materials. Appreciated, but not particularly amazing. I still want to know what the maze is like, but there has to be a method or a means to get through it. Well, and a reason to go there. Oh, I see. That's mm. why it's still that's still unlocked. I, like, I'm sure we're going to go back to that location. It would be cool if this was a little bit more freeform explory. Like, instead of getting constant um, directions, we actually could just wander around randomly. And piece things together ourselves, but I, uh, I don't know. I don't know if that would work that well. But uh, I always feel like a, a little bit of guilt whenever I get contacted to do a thing from covering a game that I'm not going to cover because it doesn't look good. Oh, huh. look at this. That's not. It's more of those symbols. Altered item number 52AE analysis, session 2. Oh, rubber ducky! I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. It blinks. First, a low-voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale, from 0 to 14. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. <laughs> no response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Aww. <laughs> when I, I was little, locked off, though. I don't know if it was because of Sesame Street, but I had a, an obsession with rubber duckies, oh. and I had about ten of them. Right now, they're in a box in my parents' basement, but I had a plethora of rubber duckies. I knew somebody that was was obsessed with a bunch of... This way to the lab? The okay. thing is, I like to float them in the bathtub. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Are taken over by the hiss. I hope that darling isn't taken over. He's been rather charming this whole time. Yeah, in the in the logs. That's one thing I always like about this genre is that like you do actually develop a small attachment to one or two of the audio log characters, and you're like, I hope this person isn't dead because I like them. And when he was in the when he was 
telling everyone about the HRA is like a life vest. He seemed so defeated. He knew something was up then yeah. and there. And I hope we get an explanation as to why he didn't tell anyone. Unless he knew it was already here. And by talking about it, he might have alerted it. Mm hmm. Because that could make sense. Ooh. Projectile boost four high. Oh wow! That's a good one. Let's see. Launch energy cost or just bonus health. Ah! You have to match it up again. Not that it's very hard. I almost wish they... I, then again, they have so many pieces of paper strewn everywhere. And so many rooms. I can understand why they didn't try to hide the solutions to these more. If it was a game like any of the Mist games, you would have had fewer areas to explore. You I think... Me here. Any idea how to make it work? Ooh. I mean, I think it's one of those where I, I picked up the mechanics maybe faster than some other people might. But it's also one of those where, like... This is not necessarily a full puzzle game, so you don't want to like. What do you mean by not picking up the mechanics? I mean, I've had I've had people straight up say recently with like a, a boss, uh, in Undermine that they couldn't figure out how to jump over the boss's patterns because they didn't even think about it and so on and so forth. Um, and so like I picked up on that mechanic. That one's really simple, but sometimes. Like, we'll just solve something really fast, and people are like, how? Why? Uh, did you look this up? And we're like, no. But I would have expected something like this in a in a room far away as being a solution. True. I, I think it's also one of those where this is a game more about, like, exploration than puzzles. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, sure, you might be able to look up the solution somewhere, but I think people would still prefer to not get bogged down in puzzles for too long. There's too many assets strewn everywhere. So. Yeah. Yeah. 